Shalom, this is Netanyahu from the Holy Camp. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakadosh, Double Law City Apostles, the others are great millstone, they teach and rule well, among many other things, and peace of citation to the elect that are scattered abroad in the four winds of the earth, out there in the highways of hedges, and pushing this truth and sincerity. Shalom. All right. <coughs> so I'm coming with another one. All right, because, you know, the times that we're coming into are going to be hopeless and desperate times. All right, and this article also is going to go into this, so I'm going to get right into it. So it says right here, desperate deep state planning intense chaos in 2023. Uh, I'm going to start over here because, you know, the beginning part, I'm not going to really talk about it. Uh, let's, let's just start right here. The author of popular book, Deep State, says the world is waking up fast to the global genocide caused by such and such Windows 19. Um, it says because of this public awakening, Newman says the desperate deep state is planning intense chaos in multiple areas to cover their tracks and distract the public away from the extreme crimes globalist elites have committed. Newman explains what they are going to be doing over the coming year is massive numbers of uh, crisis and expanding and accelerating existing crisis. They will be uh, fom fomenting new crises such as food crisis, immigration crisis, border crisis, currency crisis, and terrorist terrorism crisis. You name it because that is what they do. The UN is standing by to provide solutions to this. And their solutions is to take more uh, rights of, of the people, all right, infringing on their so called rights. And it's going to cause people to rebel. Okay? This is how they work. It says here the World Health Organization is working on digital IDs and vaccine passports to deal with the heal, uh, with the health crisis, okay? And we know that what it's leading to, the MOTB, as it talks about in Revelation chapter 13, verse 15, or 16. The Bank from International Settlement, BIS, is working on the central bank digital currency, CBDC, to deal with the currency crisis so they're going to make an uh, um, an economy crash which is also known as a, a global reset and they're going to introduce this uh, new currency which is uh, a one world currency which is a digital currency that goes into the MOTB which has been prophesied 2,000 years ago okay by uh, um, the apostle uh John the Revelator, uh, concerning Revelations chapter 13, verse 16. Okay. And it's, and it's spot on because if you really go into the word Mark, you know, and it goes in, if you go into the etymology of that, into grapho, okay, the word grapho is actually the, the Sihup, man, what it talks about giving information, okay, in the Blue Letter Bible. You can check it out. Um, it says here, um, where was I? Uh, let's see. Uh, the Bank for International Settlement, BIS, is working on the central bank digital currency, CBDC, to deal with the currency crisis. The UN Food and Agriculture Organization, the, F the FAO, is working on a solution to food crisis that they are unleashing on humanity. So they are the ones that are actually causing a food crisis. All right, that's why they're justifying taking down these farms because they're talking about the 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 CO2 um, uh, impact on the earth. Then you know they're just making up a bunch of bullshit so they can that way uh, control the food. Okay, everything that they do, they say they come in the, in the name of here we're here to help is to um, pretty much gain control even more of what people are doing, and one of them is food. When you break the people, 
with uh, famine, you can subdue many people, okay? From the greatest, the toughest, to, you know, you know, so on and so on, to bowing down, okay? And that's what they want. But the elect, they're not going to, they're not going to, um, come to it, all right, because the Most High is going to protect us. Yeah, I'm of that number as well that I hope of. All right, so it says here, so we are going to see a lot more of this, and I forgot the energy crisis. This is what we talked about a few weeks ago when we talked about the UN Climate Summit COP27 in Egypt. They're dismantling our energy infrastructure for purpose of causing an energy crisis and they say this is what they are doing they are starting a new energy order to take control and limit our energy use okay and this is all going into the new world order they want to sub they want to control every aspect of your life and what you're doing okay that's what they're doing Numa says Tatolians, tat, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it right now at this moment. I know what the word is, but yeah, anyways, you can read it. Like to create the poison and antidote, all the same laboratory, you see. And that's true because they want to cause a problem and they want to bring a solution in order, in order for you to gain control. Now, if you got a poison and you got a cure for that poison, uh, you know, you got the antidote, people are willing to do anything to get to that antidote when you poison the people, right? And that's how they gain control. That's what the these globalist deep states, staters and insiders are working on. They create the poison and the antidote in the same laboratory to take our freedoms, you see? And uh, population control is going to be a very big part of it because the Georgia Guidestones didn't want to bring the people they want to get the population under 500 million. Okay. This brings us back to the... Mm -hmm. not going to say that. Numa says, What is unfolding in 2023 is a mass unstoppable awakening to the genocide that is something something from infections to inject... Um, yeah. This is a mass murder. And that is what people will wake up to in 2023, which they're already waking up to. All right. And they're doing it on purpose because they want people to um, get violent, to, up, uh, to, to cause riots and stuff like that. So they can declare martial law. And when martial law is declared, all your rights is gone. <coughs> your rights is gone, man. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, these people, wait, let me see where I was. Numa, uh, Numa says these people are on the record with statements and speeches where they claim that are too many people consuming too many resources and we need to reduce the population of the earth. I think the evidence of mass murder and genocide is so overwhelming that it, it would be hard for a court not to convict. We have an understanding. The global elites. The global predators behind this atrocity. That in, the, uh, in my mind. Have killed millions and millions of people. Are not going to say. You got us. We give up. Take us to jail. We're going to have another. Uh, Nuremberg. They're not going to do that. They're going to deploy the next part of their plan based on what we we have been so far. We can expect to see some sort of crisis of epic proportions to try to take the focus off it. And the thing is, guy, look, you have no understanding of actually how far and how deep that their plans are. OK, these so-called least you Okay, which is the, the, the head tribe of Edom, Edomites, you so-called white people, the Amalekites. Okay, they've been planning this far longer than what you, you apparently are, 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 no, are noticing right now. They got you, man. You know, this is not, this is not uh, checkers, this is chest. 
And he's at least got you in checkmate, man. Okay. And guess what? The, the only thing that they, they don't have under control is the men of the Lord, man. All right. Because there's going to come a time where they're going to come down on, upon us. But guess what? The Heavenly Father is going to be there to protect us. You have to understand that the Most High is in control of everything. These so-called elites that are ones that are doing this, the Most High has them doing this. You see? Um, let me see. I just want they want to make this video so I found it. So this is uh, Psalms chapter seventeen. Um, I'm just gonna get straight to the point. Verse thirteen: Arise, O Lord Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down. Right, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. You see, so the Most High have used these so-called white people, which are the wicked, okay, to be the sword, okay, which is a weapon. And that's what the Most High is using these so-called white people to bring in this chaos, man, to bring death, destruction. That's what uh, the Most High has done, okay? The Most High is doing this to fulfill his purpose. But at the end, these so-called white people are going to pay for all the things they did, Okay. Um, this is um, Job chapter 9, verse 24, just to identify who the, the wicked are. It says here, Job chapter 9, verse 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right, so the earth must be given into the hand of the wicked. Who, who ruled this earth? Okay, if you look for, uh, for um, what currency upon this earth that has more value than any other is the so-called white man. And what their face is on the money. That's just another example. Um. When they have their G summits, okay, which, um, you know, is uh, concerning the whole, some, somewhat of the earth or something like that. I don't want to say the whole earth, but you could say that, you know, the UN and America and so on and so on. They're the ones that are in control and dictating what people can and cannot do concerning their countries. Okay, he says right here, he covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? All right. And, and who, who, what man on this earth has covered the faces of the judges? And the judges are talking about these prophets in the scriptures, man. You know, he's done that in the Renaissance, when he, uh, uh, which is called iconoclasm, which have destroyed the images of these so-called Negroes, all right, and painted the images in the likeness of themselves, all right? They also did that in the Greek Empire as well. Now, who are the wicked? Now, if you go into Malachi 1 and 4, I will tell you who the wicked are. This is uh, Malachi 1 and 4, and it reads, Whereas Edom saith, I right, Edom are the so-called white man. We are impoverished, but we will return to build the desolate places. And that's what he's done in the, in the, um, when he came back into power. See, when these so-called white people, which they call themselves Caucasian, and when the west part of Rome fell, we took over and we pushed them up in the Caucasus Mountains in Georgia, Russia. That's why they call themselves uh, Caucasian. When they came back into power, which was in the mid uh, 13, uh, 1400s, okay, they um, they um, came back and rebuilt their, their establishment because the word Renaissance is a French word meaning rebirth. A rebirth of what? Them being established. Uh, upon this earth as a power okay now it says here thus saith the lord yahweh of hosts they shall build but i will throw down because the end of it all because we in the re, um we're still in the roman empire which a lot of people don't consider okay see the most high is going to destroy this this kingdom of these so-called white people which is pretty much out the door right now okay and they should call them the border of wickedness you see so they are the wicked 
and the people against whom the Lord Yahweh hath indignation forever, righteous anger. Why? Because there are their filth upon this earth that are destroying this earth, man. You know, for example, three essential things that we need upon this earth is air, water, and food. They're, you know, they're destroying that. They're destroying their land, destroying their water. They're destroying the earth, man, what we live on. Okay. Now, back into the article, it says here, um, let me just start right here. We have to understand the global elites, the global predators behind this atrocity that in my mind have killed millions and millions of people. And that's true. But the thing is, you so-called white people have killed millions and millions and much more than that. Okay. You're probably up in the billions. You're the, you're the most murderous nation upon this earth than any other nation, man. Okay? And, 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 the, and the track record shows for itself. Look in history. That's what all you guys are about, is about war, death, and destruction, man. You ain't about peace, man. Every time you hear a so-called white man say, uh, uh, we want peace... Get ready for war. Okay. I'm not, uh, I'm not going to say you got us. We give up. Take us to jail. We are going to have another uh, Nuremberg. Uh, They're not going to do that. They're going to deploy the, the next part of their plan, of course. Based on what we have seen so far, we can expect to see some sort of crisis of epic proportions to, to try to take the focus off it. And it's not going to try to take the focus. It's going to take the focus off the people. Because the people have been simplified. Fluoride and so many other poisons. Chloride. Okay. Aspartame. And you know. Um, uh, the, 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 um, what is that called again? Um, uh, that they spray on these damn plants. Um, pesticides. Which is a bunch of, bunch of uh, heavy metals and things like that. Okay. And then in, in, they're indoctrinations. You know, schools, the school system, people are so indoctrinated with school and TV and, you know, they're, they're easily led. All right. People don't know how to think for themselves. They know, they know what, they know what to think, but they don't know how to think. There's a difference. Right. And in closing, Newman says that the main issue is what we are dealing with is a battle against evil. And guess what? This battle is against evil. You're, you're right. But not of you, you see. This evil that is upon this earth is anything that is against the Most High, according to what He wants done upon this earth. If you're against it, you're against the Most High. Okay? And guess what? The nation of Israel are the just. But only an, uh, a small number of, of uh, Israel is of, of the, um, is of the elect, man. The ones that have been chosen. Okay, that are going to be deemed worthy for salvation. Okay, the rest of y'all, y'all going to get destroyed, and the rest of you heathens are going into uh, fucking uh, captivity, man. Because you let us into captivity, and that's what's going to happen to you, and it's a rightful thing. All right, it says in Ephesians 6, you get a clear picture about what we are fighting. We are not just fighting George Soros, Klaus Schwab, and Joe Biden. Apostle Paul in the Bible calls this powers and principalities are demonic entities. Yeah, you're right. But they're, they're the physical uh, manifestation of Satan upon this earth. Okay? They're doing the will of Satan, man. Alright? So don't even try to bring in the scriptures, man. Because when it comes down to the scriptures... You know, you when it comes to instructions, you want to cast that behind you. You know, a lot of these guys, they, they want to use the scriptures, you know, to to bring in something like they're supposed to be righteous or so. But they're, 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 they're all part of this whole program, man. Okay? You have nothing to do with the Most High on build, building a spiritual temple. Okay? You have nothing to do with the house of David, man. All right, Mosiah is only dealing with the nation of Israel, and that's only with the men. Okay, he's always been dealing with men. Okay, to lead. Of 
course, there have been, uh, uh, you know, uh, occasions to that. But if you read Hebrews chapter 11, verse 35, only Barak was named. Okay. Um, right here it says, um, so, you know, it's pretty much it that. I don't want to go into this too much concerning this guy and, uh, you know, the, the scriptures because, you know, these guys, look at this. We ain't, do, we ain't dealing with these heathen nations, man. So it says here in um, Isaiah, we're going to jump in Isaiah 24 and 8, and it reads, The mirth of the tabard ceaseth, and the noise of them that rejoice endeth. The joy of the harp ceaseth. Okay, because there's going to come a time where all this joy, having fun, partying, going to the club, shaking your ass, listening to music, playing your video games, watching your movies, watching the game, okay, going out to um, concerts and soccer games and football games and so on and so on. They're about to be cut off, man. You're gonna see, you're gonna see a system, uh, system shutdown, uh, energy crisis. Where they've already been having these problems already. Where energy is going to be shut off. You're not going to have electricity coal, uh, uh, or any running water. No gas for heating. Okay. It's going to bring a lot of mourning to people and suffering. Okay. And it's a, rightfully, it's a rightful thing, man. Because the Most High is going to humble the proud upon His earth. Okay, it says here, they shall not drink wine with song, with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. Because, you know, now, when you're drinking, you have, you're drinking to have fun. But then, later on, they're going to drink in sorrows, man. They're going to see family members being put to death. You know, they're going to lose their jobs. People, millions of people are going to get laid off. Okay, you're going to see people not in a good state of mind, man. Okay, they're going to be more worried about the next meal that they're going to have or a warm place to stay. The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up because when this global reset, so-called global reset, it's hyperinflation kicks in, job layoffs. Energy crisis due to the fact that these uh, companies are shutting down. They can't stay open anymore. All right. You're going to see a lot of people <laughs> in a very, very pitiful case, man. All right. Um, the city of confusion broken down. Every house is shut down. I uh, shut up. Right. Because, you know, people are not going to be able to pay their mortgages. Right. Or pay rent. It's going to be a lot of crazy things happening. You're going to see a lot of rioting, man. That no man may come in. You see? There's a crying of wine in the streets. All joy is darkened and mirth of the land is gone. You see? And that's the times that we're about to be facing here very soon. A lot of people are really ignorant to that. You know? Ignorant meaning not knowing. They're not knowing the fact that things are about to change here very rapidly. Okay, we're about to face some very, very difficult times, man, which is going to lead to uprisings. And this is how the Most High has showed his men the times that we're in. We're in the end times, man. This is Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1, and it reads, He answered me then, and said, Measure thou the times diligently in itself, that when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before. And this is how we know we're at the end because we watch diligently by measuring the times that we're in by looking at and seeing what's going on on this earth on a global on a global view okay and applying the scriptures concerning these prophecies and what where they fit okay and that is through the spirit and the power of the heavenly father yahweh bashim yahushai and if you ain't got it you're not going to be able to see it okay that's why scriptures say many many are going to die because it, that many are going to perish because they don't have no vision. Okay. I think it was Proverbs chapter 23. Let me see if I can find it really quick. Uh, 
16. Uh, let's see. See if I can find it. Yeah, it was totally off. Would have never found it. Let me see. This is Proverbs 29 and 18. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of people that are going to perish because they don't see it, man. Okay, they don't see it. Going back to the second Genesis nine and uh, verse uh, two, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, that's exactly what's going on right now, man. I believe they got also a, uh, another protest over there in um, in, in Israel. You know, in many different parts of this earth. And this is going to continue to get worse and worse. That's how we know we're at the end, man. Because it says here, Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the earth hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Okay, and that end that manifests is when the time when the Lord came upon this earth in the flesh, man. Okay, that was a beginning. Okay, now... We're at the end, man. Okay? We're at the end of this man's kingdom, man. Because he rose up. Okay? And now he's about to, you know, he's about to fall. Because he was only let a, sh a short season to rule this earth, man. Okay? And every kingdom has a beginning. And every, and every kingdom on this earth has ended. Okay? So you have to understand when, you know, this man... A lot of people think it's so great. Don't have an understanding that the Heavenly Father has put this man in power. Okay? And it says here in uh, Job uh, 14 and 5, it reads, Seeing his uh, days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. You see, so Mosiah set up for him to rule, but he's not going to be able to pass those bounds. Okay, and that's why he's doing all the things that he's doing right now, because he wants to stay in power. Okay, he wants to be as the most high, but the, but he can't, you know, surpass the most high. He ain't nobody. You ain't going to fight someone that, uh, a power, not someone, you ain't going to fight a power, okay, that has created your little butt, man. You know, everything about you, he even knows everything that you're about to think before you even think about it. He already knows what you're going to think. You have no idea who you're fucking with, Esau. Um, <clears throat> this is Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 1, and it reads, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. And these times, you know, it is going to be perilous because when, you know, how the society is now, uh, this is the spirit that they're in. It says right here, For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontent, fierce, despisers of good, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of the Most High. Okay? And that is the spirit of these people, man. And when we're heading into a perilous time, which we are in, when the time comes, when when uh, the system shuts down, you're going to see how cold people are really going to be, man. Right? Because it says here, um, Matthew 24 and 12, And because iniquity shall abound, that love of the many shall wax cold. Okay? And that, that is what's going to happen. Because... You have to understand that when you take food from a man's table, you take you take the little liberties that they have away from them, 
You're going to see how savage these people are going to be, man. In a spirit that they're already conditioned to be in. Being selfish. Okay. Then, you know, despises good. Okay. Traitors. Head, heady. High-minded. Incontent. Fierce. You know, these traits are, are very dangerous in a time where there is uh, no hope. Okay. Because that's what's going to happen here. People are going to have no hope. Okay. And are going to be desperate. And when that time comes... We're going to see 2 Ezra chapter 15, verse 14, get real busy, man. It says here, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Okay, woe is synonymous to destruction, but meaning mourning and lamentation. Right, because it says here, for the sword and the destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and with, uh, and with swords in their hands. So, it's like you're going to see civil unrest. To a civil war, okay, to the point where they're gonna have to bring in the military, okay, because as it says here, for these shall be, uh, for there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. That's right, because there's not enough police officers out here in the streets to stop all the crimes and shit that is going to happen here very soon. When you have a global uh, system shutdown, energy crisis and gas uh, and, and fuel prices skyrocketing because of hyperinflation, you're not going to have police officers being able to come and save your silly ass out there in these streets, man. You're going to see lawlessness out there, man. And that's when they're going to have to call in the martial law, man. That's when they're going to have to bring in the military. And that's when your rights is totally gone. Okay. A man should decide to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled and houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. Because the times that we're about to see is a time that we have not seen before. The time of Jacob's trouble. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. Okay, your friendly neighborhood guy is going to be one of the motherfuckers robbing and looting and, 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 and killing murder motherfuckers, okay? And this ain't no joke, man. And they shall spoil their goods because of the lack of bread, because of the lack of what? Food and water and, 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 and uh, equipment, resources, right? And for great tribulation. They're going to be doing it, you know, to do by any means, man, to get away from suffering. See, so see, when people are lovers of themselves, they ain't worried about you no more, man. They just put a nice, you know, that's how the people are. They put a nice little smile on their face and whatever. But when the time comes, man, they're gonna show their true colors, man. And this is what, and this this is what Esau has been doing the whole time, planning and 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 staging everything so it'll be like this, man. This is Micah two and one. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds, and that's what they've been doing. And everybody, and and and, and these articles that are being pushed out there, that's why they're gonna bring a shutdown of the internet because there's too much information being brought out by these people okay that's why they said there's going to be a great awakening but guess what the stage has already been set that's why Esau don't even care no more these, these so called elites they don't care no more because it's already been set and prep you know they have been setting up things cause a problem they, they, they see the, a problem they find a solution it's called gradualism so what move that you're going to make, they already know that you're going to make it because they've already been trying it and doing it on the population. Okay, it says here, Michael 2 and 1, it says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. You see? So right now they have the power to practice these evil things to plot and plan on what they're going to, and how they're going to uh, gain control over every aspect of your life man and they're going to justify murdering your ass by <clears throat> creating these laws okay that if you uh, do certain things against w their agenda you are an enemy of the state you see these laws have already been in place if you talk anything against the government or anything about their plans and stuff like that you are an enemy of the state 
And it doesn't matter who you are on this earth. You might say something like, yeah, man, fuck the government, man. They bo then boom, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you'd be like, what the fuck? Why am I going to jail? You know, they pistol whip you right in the fucking face and tell you shut the fuck up, get in the car, throw your ass in a car, right? And you're wondering why things are happening like this. Because your simple ass is just sitting there thinking about, yeah, it will never happen to me. Yeah, well, well you, we're going to see. All right? And that's when you're going to see people being uh, uh, broken down, man. They're going to see their neighbor getting beat the fuck up and thrown in cars and shit. And what do you think people are going to start doing? They're going to think about themselves, man. Save their own ass. Okay? So, hey... You know, we're coming into some very desperate and, um, yeah, some very desperate times where people are going to be hopeless. So, you know, be on guard. Keep your eyes peeled, ears peeled. All right. Because, hey, things are about to change here very soon. And people are going to be hopeless, having no hope. And they're going to be desperate. All right. So watch and watch and pray. All right. And hope that, hey, the most I have mercy upon us and guide us. On the right di uh, directions, so we can make it through it all, man. Because, hey, we're going to be facing some very heavy times, man. So, with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakai Kodesh, double honors to the apostles, the editors, great millstone, that teach and rule well, among many other things, and peace salutations to the elect. Shalom.